my friends, it is done. I have finished our next course, our upcoming course, and I am really, 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 really extremely happy to share with you this sneak preview. So um, yeah, we finished the course. Uh, at the time of this recording, or at the moment you're watching this, I'm probably recording the final part, which is the intro video that I normally do. You're gonna be seeing that one in the next couple of days. But uh, I'm really proud of this uh, project, and you probably saw the thumbnail, and you're like, I wanna see the character, where's the character? Here is the character. His name is Thyros, he's a tiefling. Uh, it's a high poly character that we are gonna embark on a journey so that I can show you how to go from absolutely nothing to a full AAA ready game, well, not game ready, but AAA ready high poly character. This is hopefully the first of many uh, modules, like uh, uh, think of this like a masterclass that we're gonna be building on. And um, this is probably one of my most ambitious courses so far because it's 25 hours, roughly like 25 hours of pure ZBrush sculpting. I pretty much share every single technique and trick that I know about ZBrush to get to this point so that you can, you guys can create your own characters as well. Uh, this again, as I mentioned, is hopefully gonna be the first of many courses. You guys are gonna be the ones who decide that um, because oh, I would like to take this guy all the way to Unreal. I want to texture him, retopologize him, rig him, animate him, and maybe even take it again into Unreal Engine to do a little bit of programming and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you here real quick where we start. This is the first couple of lessons. We, we start creating our very uh like a super uh trust uh, well, what's the the old trusty um like starting point we don't use any base mesh we start directly with this with a basic armature done with c spheres and as you can see we start with 28 points you guys have a guess at how many points we end up with we end up with nothing more than 62 million 880,000 points is that the Proper number? I think it is. So yeah, this is the final character, my friends. It's a complete character. It's thought for production. So throughout the whole course, I'm gonna be going over and over about the things that we need to take into consideration for production, um, such as how to build all of the assets, all of the props, what parts are we gonna eliminate, what parts are we gonna rig as separate pieces. You can see right here, it's all modular. We have all of the folders here, really cool folders of the different uh, parts of the character, the axe, we're gonna do the axe, we're gonna do, oh, that's a little prop there, the shoulder skull, uh, eventually this thing would be smoke, right now this is just a, a concept piece of just like smoke coming out of the of the, of the the skull, we do the whole like a belts and the, and the whole skirt, the tail, in case you want to have tail or not, we, we can modularly take in or take out the tail on the character, it's it's quite the ride, my friends. I'm, I'm really happy, not because it's... Uh, I've always loved uh, doing characters. It's one of my favorite things to do in the 3D world. Uh, but this one is special because it's a character I created. Um, I created the concept, I created the idea, and then a friend of mine created actually the concept art that we're going to be using throughout the, the course. You've probably seen it if you've seen some of our live streams in the last couple of days or, or weeks. And uh, so, yeah. This is it. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm about to start recording the promo video. You're going to see some very cool shots. We even take a look at rendering. I show you how to create uh, this renders right here so that you can uh, you can really show everyone the amazing art that you're now going to be able to create with this uh, with this character. So um, I'm going to jump straight into finishing this. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for more 3D. I know we've uh, left 3D a little bit on the side in this last couple of days because I've been busy finishing this uh, course. Uh, but now it's done. And uh, thanks to your suggestions, we are now trying this new format where it's going to be a, a more ambitious project. And we're going to like break it up into parts so that we can really, really go in depth into the process so that you guys get the best possible results. So this first class is an advanced CBRUSH class. We're going to be focusing on creating this high poly character. And um, yeah, I got nothing else to add. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, do you like it? Do you like this format? Do you Would you like to see the next one? Maybe that's the next one that I'm going to start working on, which would be a texturing. We, we would need to texture this character to make him look even better. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think because 
because your comments and your feedback is what keeps us going and what allows us to plan ahead for what's coming up next for the channel. Uh, also, just a reminder, uh, the Skillshare, uh, this video or this course will be available in Skillshare. The comments on this video will participate at the end of the month for a chance to win a course and you can pick this course as well. So yeah, that's it, guys. Surprises and more surprises. Thank you very much for your patience. I'll see you back tomorrow with more 3D content. Bye-bye.